Hello dear friends, welcome back to Shomen Nath's YouTube channel and today I'm going to discuss about a very important topic for you all not only one, two the first one is those students who are going to give examination from mobile phone or you can call it a smartphone I'll discuss about a little bit pros and cons as well as I will give you the tips how to manage exam as well as yourself for the upcoming odd semester online examination and those students who are studying in Maulana Abul Kalam Azad University of Technology. But before that, I would like to tell you that, uh, see, it is already proven that there are different states of mind, like, you know, alpha mode, then beta mode, gamma mode, as well as delta mode, right? So theta mode is also there. And in general, right now, the anxiety and the pressure all of you are feeling, it is just because of all of us are in beta mode. So from next video onwards, I would like to give you some smooth musics, which will also help you to put yourself in alpha mode so that you can get relaxed. You can just put your skull candy on and you can study in a cool state of mind. So keep watching. Okay, now let's move forward and uh, let's talk about uh, like what are the pros and cons of uh, giving examination from mobile. Say the pros are basically uh, if we talk about the advantages uh, like you need not to have any other devices like laptop as well as desktop and you need not to have any webcam and uh, you know any other accessories etc. But there are certain cons also. Uh, like if we talk about the disadvantages, the first disadvantage I would like to share with all of you since you are all a little bit stressed. So the first one is a small screen size, right? If the screen size is small and whenever you go for, you know, putting uh, the or choosing the right option from there, it will uh, a bit difficult for you and scrolling uh, the questions uh, might uh, be difficult for you, right? So this is one very important problem. The second one is uh, like in case of mobile, whenever you go for examination, every time you have to give camera permission. And the biggest disadvantage is this smartphones cameras are having high resolution and wide angle of coverage. You know what I mean. So as a result, what happened, uh, okay, uh, it will give a lot of clarity. So though you can take it advantage or disadvantage, the choice is all yours. But uh, I would like to give you a tip in this regard, how you can reduce the pixels of your front camera. Suppose you are having an 18 megapixel camera or maybe 20 megapixel camera in your phone. Just go to the camera setting. If you want to reduce it, you will find out that there are options that will help you to sort out if you want to reduce the pixels or not. So you can put it in 8 megapixel or maybe 5 megapixel. So that will solve a certain problem. Again, I hope you understand. Uh, next is very important uh, for all the students uh, i like to tell you like uh, you know uh, whenever you go for examination with your mobile phone keep it fully charged because in the midway if or carry else carry and power bank if you do not have a power bank um, then you have to put it uh, in the charger mode you know, right because uh, until and unless you have fully charged 90 minutes of continuous one it will also require lots of charge right and uh, now i would like to move forward that how you can manage the exam as well as yourself one two three four the different points let me tell you and these are very interesting and you must understand this uh, first of all uh, see uh, it is expected that uh, i'm not saying that this is going to happen but this is expected that every day whenever you are going to give the examination the examination will be like you know fifth semester third semester first semester maybe in between there will be a 45 minutes of gap right uh, so that you need to remember the second important thing i would like to tell you that uh, those students who are giving the regular exam as well as those 
backlog students who are giving their exam they need to see it for the same question paper right so there is this time it might possible they do not have any separate backlog paper they might sit for the same paper with the regular one now the next important thing that uh, how you need to manage yourself i would like to request you in my previous video i also discussed about it that whenever the day you are having examination you should log in before 20 minutes at least 20 minutes right so that it will reduce your anxiety and take deep breath so that it will reduce your stress now uh, one more important thing you need to remember that a particular student can log in from only one device yes you can remember only one device only one device i repeat only one device yes you can log in from only one device and if you want to switch the device in between then what you have to do you can do it but for once only and the time gap which is required for switching this uh, you will not get any extra time for that hopefully hopefully you're not going to get an extra time for that so be very careful be really wise while choosing your device or choice of device right now the next uh, is uh, uh, like uh, uh, whenever you are like in a form during the form fill up you fill up the form uh, but when you are putting your picture into the admit card I'd like to request you this is one of the hacks like you take a recent very recent photograph of yours with the help of the camera and save it and you put that photograph like you know uh, today or tomorrow maybe you are going to take the uh, photograph of yours and then this photograph you paste it in the admit card right since it's a digital mode okay why i'm telling you this because this will help you uh, when you will sit for the examination to identify that it's you there are many students complaining about it that their photos are not means camera is not opening as well as photo identification is not matching this is because you are you have already uh, you know have a old database where you know your photographs are maybe two years or maybe three years back right so your face a little bit changed over the time so i would like to request you you keep your recent photograph and paste it in the digital form in your admit card that will also help you to have identification in a very fast way so with this i come to an end to this session and thank you very much i will come up with lot more videos for you so that you can have a smooth examination with this, all the best. Bye-bye.